2E0EOL. Okay, time once again for a beer review. Um, it's not really morning, I wouldn't drink in the morning, obviously. Um, right. Siren Craft Brew, Barrel Aged Broken Dream. Our flagship stout, aged in Ardberg barrels. Broken Dream, our flagship. Yep, yep, yep. Our, our breakfast stout is brewed with lactose and coffee to round out a full flavour profile. This beer is part of a series of different whiskey barrels. See if you can track down our Speyside or Bavarian editions. Ingredients malt, water, hops, yeast, lactose, coffee. And for some reason, malt and lactose are in bold print and the other ingredients aren't. Um, storage, keep upright, keep refrigerated, serve cool. Oh, it's sort of um, time of year that um, I wouldn't worry about that so much. I mean, it, it's it's cool enough. It's probably room temperature. But it's um, it's probably I haven't got a thermometer, but let's say it's probably it's no more than fifteen degrees Celsius in here. Um, probably colder than that. I, I keep the window open in in the winter because I've got my um, antenna mounted in the in the window for amateur radio. Storage, keep upright, keep refrigerated. I've read that already. Okay. Alcohol 7.4, 4, 7.4% ABV. 2.4 units, if any of you even know what a unit is. I have no idea and I don't care. Government advice. Alright. If any of you are concerned about units of alcohol, then uh, top tip. Um, I think you'll find that the Irish units are a larger quantity, so you can drink more alcohol. There you go. Right. Last night I was at the um, Brett Brettfest, the uh, double IPA uh, that Wild Beer Co. have launched. So um, if I can get hold of a bottle of that, um, I was in um, Kelowna and Hunter, and they just had it on tap. But if I can get hold of a bottle, I'll, I'll review that. Um, I have been given advice that Independent Spirit have some bottles. I don't know that for a fact, but I was told that by um, by James at Kelowna and Hunter. So I, I believe that to be the case. No sediment that I can see. Very dark. There's nothing really to write home about the nose on that. It just smells like a very nice stout. Um, mostly malt, so I can't really smell any hoppiness. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste that, that it's been aged in the whiskey barrels. Um, bittersweet aftertaste. Very thick. Um, is it sort of like? Is it like Guinness? I'd say, not really. It's, it's very. It's, it's quite sweet. Um, sort of, <clears throat> and it's fruity. Mm. No sharpness at all. Um, well, it's not exactly a mellow drink. It's um, not really smooth. There's a slight sharpness to it. This is in no way sour. Oh, there's a bit of a, a slight um, aftertaste of um, tanginess, as it were. If any of you um, are Guinness drinkers, then I would say it's nothing like Guinness that you get 
down the pub, as it were, but it is quite similar to, to um, these um, sort of dragon stouts, um, sort of Guinness foreign extra stout. It's, it's quite close to that. So um, if you like that, you'll like this. Mm, that's a really enjoyable pint. I, I do. I've not actually found anything that Siren Craft have done that I haven't liked. So, um, is that a good thing or not? That's an interesting question. Um, because I was recently speaking to um, Wild Beer Co. Um, Johnny, and um, he was at the um, Bath Brew House. Um, beer and food matching event and he did say that it's quite the fact that people only like for example the average person who buys their beer only likes 50% of the beer and that makes them actually highly experimental which is an interesting point of view because I and I do like Wild Beer Co so um, the Siren Craft, the fact that I like everything I have is not necessarily a good thing from that perspective um, are they experimental enough? I don't know. Um, but on the other hand, you buy a bottle and um, you're always going to like it, in my opinion. Um, ooh, I may have... Ah! Luckily I've not thrown it out yet, but um, I got another one from them the other day, which I didn't... I, I put up a brief comment about, but I didn't actually review. I like this one better. Barrel Aged Daydream. Um, that was a very, it's a white, they call it a white stout, um, and it was in collaboration with McKellar, aged in bourbon barrels for six months. I actually like this one more, um, but it was, uh, than, than this current, uh, than the, uh, oh, forget the name of it already, the Barrel Aged Broken Dream, so, um, I recommend both of those, but, uh, they are very different. And I did like this one more. This one was 13.5%, figures 1, 3, decimal 5. So uh, that contains lactose as well. Um, yeah, I, I didn't review this one. Because uh, I couldn't be bothered. But uh, if I had to choose between the two, I'd, I'd pick this one again. Um, although they are both great beers. So, I shall wish you 7-3. Go and get yourself some Siren Craft Brew. And I shall see you again for another beer review. 20 E O L.